Come spend the day with us as we talk about deals and steals and peanut butter we made from love for a good cause. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the Dr. Pepper Float by Bluebell Ice Cream. Is it a hit? Did I need to change into my Texas shirt and say yeehaw? Find out. Hey everybody, today was a day of amazing finds, great deals. We are at CVS right now. Corey just ran into Specs, which is next door. So uh, I'll show you my freebies that I got at CVS. In addition to what we just got from Aldi across the street, they're having some amazing deals. And then I will also be including in this video the deals we got today at Kroger. I'm going to include some pictures from the farmer's market in our area where we got a couple of odds and ends. We got some vegetarian Indian dish for Chloe. Olivia got some jewelry. I got some candles. And Olivia also got some crochet stuffed animals that are super cute. Now let's look at what we got. So let me show you what we got from Aldi. Today we spent $21.96. Corey is back from Specs. He got what he was looking for. Potatoes the are like five bucks, right? Potatoes, yes, four ninety nine. dollars Pineapple was 79 cents. We got the last pineapple. Eggs are $1.18. Mangoes were 79 I thought they were 49 Are you sure? Yeah, they were $79. Nope, look, 49, 49? 49 cents each. Oh, and bananas are 49 cents a pound, right? Yep, I think that's right. Bananas. The milk's are... like two oh six. dollars uh, This Manchego cheese, I think, was four ninety nine. dollars 3 something. I can't get enough of this. I went back and bought, I don't know, 10 of these at one point. So good and smoky. And we did some of this on the freeze dryer and it turned out really well. I just wanted to get another one of those. And is that it? Mm -hmm. So for 21 bucks, you can really stretch your dollar at Aldi. Now let me show you what we got for free from CVS. We had... $17 worth of credit yeah. and you earn that how? Well you sign up for their, I think it's called the Care Pass program, you pay you pay $5 a month and they give you $10 credit and then depending on what you buy in the store uh, they'll give you extra credits. Like we end up having like a $5 credit, $2, 35 cents, 18 cents, we got a bunch of them. You're really better off going over than because if you don't use it you lose it. So had we just got these three at $4.99 each, okay, that would have been $15. We would have been able to walk away uh, and not pay anything. However, then you lose $2. So what we did was we took the Pure Leaf Tea that both Olivia and Corey love, and uh, that was, what, $4? Yeah, so we yeah we added that and then ended up paying two bucks. So hope hope that makes sense. But anyway, so that was our CVS haul. It's been a while since I've done a grocery haul. We've been mainly trying to just live off of our food that we have in our pantry and just try to spend less at the store because the price of everything is going up. I did do a haul at Kroger today. I'm not going to show you everything, but just mainly the things that we got on sale because that's where we're now able to focus. Now that we have enough of our preps, we're just going to focus on buying things that are on sale. So I am going to just show you some of the things that we got a deal on. We were able to reduce our bill by 45%. So let me show you what we got. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is a collaboration of two of my favorite things, Borzen cheese and chimichurri. In fact, tonight Corey's making chimichurri steak. It's one of my favorites. And so I found a chimichurri borzen. These normally go for like five or six bucks at the grocery store. Borzen cheese, it's pretty expensive. So uh, it's been reduced to $2.58. So I got three of those. Regular, let me look at the receipt. I want to say they're like regular $5.99. So I considered that to be a good deal. And these Borson cheeses, not only are they great on their own with crackers or whatever, but I've made the TikTok pasta using this instead of feta and it's also good to put in your mashed potatoes and we like all the flavors we've got the shallot we usually get the three pack at costco 
nine dollars um, and it's got two of the garlic and one of the scallions I don't remember now seedless watermelons I believe these were on sale for $1.99 I thought that was a pretty good little deal I personally prefer the ones without seeds I got a couple of these yogurts never tried them before one is a cinnamon toast crunch one is a lucky charms eo play dollar fifty each i don't know if that's a great deal but something i wanted to try now the real savings was this bourbon vanilla boar's head honey glaze or glaze for your ham was a dollar fifty and i think like on amazon and stuff this is going for fourteen and fifteen dollars so that's a good deal shank portion hams regular 19 oh no you say we saved 19 dollars and 12 cents regular 25.98 for this we got it for six dollars and 86 cents bonsonville we do the cheddar the jalapeno these are real good when we go camping real easy to fix but this one had queso in it i thought that sounds good it's white pepper jack and monterey Jack cheese, smoked sausage, love these things. And what did we pay for this? Let me look at the, do you know off the top of your, $3.99? So I don't know that these were on sale. Just a dollar off. Uh, oh, just a dollar off. So not substantial savings, but it beats a poke in the eye. We got two of these shoulder, pork shoulders. Regular price on this one, $18.64. Got it for $6.72. We were talking about, I don't know, doing some Asian, what do you call the seasoning that you use? Bulgogi. Bul Bulgogi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This one was $6.44. Regular $17.86. Hey guys, I also wanted to share something with you. I'm in the pantry putting away 31 jars of peanut butter. There's kind of a cool story behind this. Corey and Olivia and I got a chance to volunteer at this, it's like a peanut butter making factory in Houston. It belongs to the Church of the Latter-day Saints, but they allow different groups, different missions to come in and volunteer, and then they provide the peanut butter for the homeless. And then if you help out and do a four-hour shift, you get to take home a free thing of homemade peanut butter that you made. It was so much fun. It was such a fun experience to be able to volunteer with my family. Corey roasted the peanuts. Olivia kind of worked on the assembly line, um, you know, packing up the peanut butter into the boxes. And then I was at the end taking the boxes, putting them on the pallet, wrapping them in cellophane and getting a guy that works there to take the forklift and move them to the warehouse. We took home some of the original peanut butter and then we, we got mostly the natural peanut butter, which the only difference between the two, the natural peanut butter does not have the oil or, or something or the sugar. It just has the peanuts and a little bit of salt. These, these are better to freeze dry because you're really not supposed to freeze dry um, peanut butter that has the oil in it. So I got mostly the natural ones. They were selling them for a buck fifty. So we got our free jar plus I bought a case. Uh, these natural peanut butters go anywhere from $8 up to $15. They're really, really expensive now, and they were letting us buy them for $1.50. So that's my other bargain that I wanted to tell you all about. And just the experience was so fun, and now every time we open one of these peanut butters, we can know that we as a family made it, and, and a lot of the batches that we made are going to feed the homeless in Houston. I can bake with these. I like to make peanut butter fudge, peanut butter cookies, peanut butter ice cream is one of my favorites, peanut butter pie. So around the holidays, we're going to be set. And like I said, this natural peanut butter will freeze dry better. So I'm very, very much looking forward to the holidays and using this peanut butter up. Okay, so I don't do product reviews very often unless I either really like something or really hate it, you know, just uh, this Bluebell ice cream infused with Dr. Pepper float is about as Texas as it gets. These are like the two best 
iconic things of Texas, in my opinion. We've already eaten some of it, as you can tell. But I wanted to do a review of this because I know not everybody has a bluebell in their area, depending on what part of the country you live in. But this is so good. The only thing that I thought was missing was the Dr. Pepper. It needed to be, it tasted like a Dr. Pepper float, but not wet enough, if that makes sense. So I'm actually getting ready to put some of the Dr. Pepper float ice cream and pour some Dr. Pepper on top and do a little taste test. The one thing I was concerned with with this ice cream was I thought maybe it was like just a syrup strip or whatever, but this is like legit frozen Dr. Pepper. I love it. And Chloe says it kind of has an amaretto vibe, which makes sense because Dr. Pepper does have cherry in it as one of the ingredients. So let me make my little Dr. Pepper float and we'll do a taste test. And another thing that's so intriguing, I don't know how they did this with this ice cream, is they made it taste carbonated. I don't, I don't know how they did that. It's really, really cool. So even if you're eating this plain by itself without the Dr. Pepper on top, they really did a good job with this. If we have some leftover, I might try to do some freeze drying. I might try to freeze dry some of this Dr. Pepper float ice cream. It is good. It I is mean, good. It's like the carbonation. Can't go wrong with Bluebell, and then I know they. It got, is strange how it tastes like it's carbonated. Yeah, I don't even like vanilla ice cream, but I will eat. Uh, it either has to be homemade. Or it has to be Bluebell vanilla ice cream. That's the only way I will eat vanilla. And as you can see, this is a pretty even ratio of Dr. Pepper flavored. I mean, I don't know. Is it like frozen Dr. Pepper? I don't know what it is. Yeah, but like ice cream Oh, yeah. But nonetheless, I guess I should have used a scoop and not a spoon. But it wouldn't be me without using the, the wrong appliance. All right. So let's put our DP on here. Dr. Pepper floats, I think, were invented by Whataburger, just adding another layer of Texas to this whole mix. Root beer floats have been around forever, then came Coke, flo Coke floats, but uh, Dr. Pepper floats, I believe, originated at Whataburger, and that, another Texas staple. Very good. Does it taste better being wet? I know that sounds weird. I don't know. I think I like the ice cream by itself better. You do? Yeah. Okay. Of course, I haven't gotten really too much ice cream. This is getting Dr. Pepper right now. I love it. I like it better wet. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go put on my, my Texas shirt. This is my official Texas shirt. It's in the shape of Texas, but it has all things that represent Texas. One of them being Bluebell. Uh, the other one being Whataburger, which I was just talking about. And then Dr. Pepper. So now I can officially channel my inner Texas girl and drink my Dr. Pepper Bluebell float. Mm. I love it. You gotta try this, guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye now.